probably going to take a break on that because my brain is on fire. Hello everyone and welcome back to part two in our equal length header subseries. I'm feeling much less aggravated uh, with the idea of headers. After a couple days off, um, we're going to leave this one alone on the passenger side because I'm in need of some longer nested radius elbows here. So leave that for now. I'm gonna kind of leave this where it is and start working on the driver's side one, mostly because uh, I need to see if I can make these runners capable of being the same length as that side. So the way that this collector is right now, uh, these runners are about 15 and a half inches. If I need to make them longer, it's pretty simple because this collector can just move straight down and I can add straight length to this. I left myself a good plane here um, for collector extension. So my goal is no longer than 25 inches per runner. So I'm just the, the ideal runner length from what I've read is 15 and a half to, or sorry, 15 inches to 25 inches. So these ones are about 15 and a half right now. That's about as short as I'd ever want to go. So again, if I have to bring this collector down because I can only make these ones, you know, so long, first seven is probably going to dictate kind of how long the rest of everything needs to be. So I'm going to aim for that 15, 16 inch length on this. Um, but again, if I have to modify this one to make it longer so that, you know, we hit 17 or 18 inches on that side, that's going to be okay. That's going to be, I kind of built that in to that collector with the idea that we might have to bring this one further in. So I'm gonna start tacking some tubes together. So headers, hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some excellent news to share. It's been a very successful day. I got two runners done on this header. Uh, it was a challenge. I've probably got six hours into these two, so you can figure that dollar-wise how expensive these headers would cost. Um, but yeah, total length on this one is 18 and 7 eighths, and this one is 18 and 3 quarter. So I'm really happy that they're within an eighth. I'm going to try and keep everything, I think, I've decided within a half inch. So eighth of an inch is totally acceptable. Um, ignore how poorly these fit because... Uh, these collectors actually are quite a bit bigger than inch and three quarter at the ends. So I'm going to have to trim them down until they neck down to inch and three quarter, but we'll worry about that when the other two runners are built. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Like I said, um, it's built within the firing order again. So this is going to, this is cylinder one, obviously one, seven, five, and then three. So same thing. We're going to get the, the cylindrical air movement. Um, so yeah, my plan is the steering shaft is in here. I'll show you in a minute. The steering shaft doesn't go through the header and I am really, uh, happy that I was able to build this with a plan that I'm not going to have to, you know, run it through the steering shaft. This, I just tacked in here to be able to get a collector fixtured sort of, uh, when I was about to start this runner, but yeah, one and seven are done and nailed. So... My next thought is number five, I think, is going to go kind of up and through and then do like a U here into this. And then number three is going to have to U up and over and down and into here. So I'm going to move it over onto the truck now and I'll show you what that looks like. And then I am going home for the day. All right. So header. Ooh, look at that. Crooked as hell, huh? Headers on. So you can see we got lots of room around the steering shaft. There's lots of room up here still as well. And I don't know if you can tell in this video, but I have a straight shot still at all the plug holes. And uh, yeah, looks pretty badass in there so far. Obviously I have two more runners to do, but I think I have a decent plan for those. And it kind of worked out that I think I'm almost exactly three inches longer on that side than I am on this side. So I am going to add three inches to these 
and just push this collector straight down three inches because I got lots of room to do that. Fortunately, uh, that's probably going to do it for headers for a little bit because I'm going to have to, this is all I've got left for inch and a quarter or inch and three quarter elbows and straight tubes. So I'm going to have to order some elbows and a length of tube or two. And uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to next uh, pull both headers off. I'll do the three inches on those two runners that are finished on that side. And I'm going to weld these solid. And uh, that way, you know, they're set in stone. And I'm at less of a risk of things moving and bending and breaking when I do the other two runners on both sides. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far. Looks pretty badass. It's a pretty big mess of tube. And actually, when this moves down another three inches, I'm going to lose, obviously, some crossover length. So I'll have to find make up that three inches somewhere else. But it should actually help make them look a little bit more symmetrical by the time they're all done. But yeah, the thing's coming together. I just taped these on today as well. Those are not gonna stay like that. I just threw them on there to have a look and decided I hate them at 90s like that, so we'll get them changed up. But yeah, this header, great success so far today. I was able to keep that brake system totally untouched with lots of room. And uh, yeah, who knows, with where the rest of the tubes wind up, we may make a heat shield that bolts to the master cylinder and just you know protects the brake lines just so we don't get any brake fade uh, unnecessarily but that's going to wrap up saturday it's actually 20 after 5 i still haven't fixed my clock and uh we'll see you monday i guess i'll probably weld out these runners on monday these ones for sure probably going to take a break on that because my brain is on fire but uh yeah we'll get the three inches in those weld those two up i probably have enough junk in here to finish that without having to order some more stuff but yeah off to the races. Feel very good about this so far. It's not Monday. It's the following Friday. It's been a hell of a week. I have not touched the truck at all. It's been stuck in the air with a car underneath it the whole week. Um, I rewired this little 66 Chevelle over there uh, and just hammered it out. So it's pretty much done. I'm waiting for a couple parts that will be here on Monday. But it is uh, 5 after 10 on Friday night. And I've been staring at these block valves way up there all week long and i hate them coming out at 90s so i drew this little adapter quick on cad and i think i'm going to have them come out like this um and favor the back side of the tube a little bit so they'll come straight out this is a cut jig and what we're going to do with that is take this piece of titanium tube and this slides over the end here, like so. And then, grab myself a marker here. And that's going to give me my cope shape, ignore that scribble line. But that's gonna give me a good start to cut my cope into. Uh, I gotta make two of these. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna cut this out and we'll see how it fits. I've also got the titanium flanges for the blow off valves. So I'll get them polished up a little bit cause they're kind of gross looking right now. And we'll get some blow off valves tacked on here. And uh, that's gonna end the video then after that. Again, I'm not gonna weld these out. I haven't touched this thing all week. Um, but okay, so there's the first one. It's a little rough still, but pretty good start. This jig is super handy because we'll bring it over here now. And it fits damn near perfect. Got a little tiny bit of persuading to do, but so I'm gonna bang out the second one. And then uh, these flanges are coped for tube. 
So I'm going to stick them in the lathe and just part off the coat part. And then we'll weld them straight to the end here. And that'll give us a nice straight flange for the blow valves to sit on. And I know I said I wasn't finished with this yet, but this trunk for sure of this angle here and this straight section here are for sure staying. So if I have to do any modification, it'll be here anyway. So that's why I'm doing this now. And uh, that'll get me one more thing placed. Or I guess two more things placed in their final spot. And we'll be able to uh, check those off the list for placement, which will make me feel good. I got the twins done. They're pretty close, need some final fine tuning just to clean up the edges, make them super round and everything. But uh, you'll notice that I intentionally offset the seam of the tube so that when they are uh, welded to the tube, they are directional and the seam will be as hidden as it can possibly be. That's something that I like to pay attention to just because I don't know if you can see, but where the seam is, is it's not perfectly round. And it just, the finish is a little different, obviously, from where it's been laser welded or whatever they weld it with. But uh, yeah, so the seam's hidden. These are the titanium flanges. Shout out to Renee at Weld Rebel for getting these. Um, so I'm gonna chuck them up in the lathe and spin this cope off of them so that we can just set the tube flat on these flanges and then have the uh, blow off valves bolt straight to them. So, lathe time. I should mention that I've never spun titanium on a lathe before, so I don't know if that was the right speed or not, but it worked and I still have a cutter. So I'm going to call that a W and we'll do the second one and hopefully we make it through that one as well because boy oh boy is that ever... Not exciting. Worked pretty good though. So the idea here is, because they're identical, I shouldn't have to measure anything. And just by spinning this straight in, my part off will be the exact same height on both sides. Is that scientific? Not really. Am I going with it? Definitely. Come on, baby, you can do it. Oh, God. Oh. Look at that. We didn't die again. That is an excellent outcome to something that I had zero confidence in. All right, so we'll face them. And by face them, I mean I'll hit them on the belt sander and we'll get welded. All right, tack time. Okay, so I'm just gonna tack these together and then fit them on the tube. And I don't know if it's gonna be easier to weld these separate, which I have no idea how I'm gonna back purchase them now because I'm stupid and coped them already, but I'm hoping that I have left myself enough room that they can be welded on the charge pipe when it's all said and done. So I'm just gonna fit these up as tightly as I can. Put a little packaroo on there. Oh, that didn't work.
Uno. Titanium is very odd. To be honest with you, I don't know if I like titanium as a material to work with, but I've also barely done any of it, so. Take that with a grain of salt. I didn't like aluminum when I first started working with it either, and then I learned how to weld it, and I quite enjoy it now. So, yeah, we can get that placed on the charge pipe. I don't know what the best route to do that is. I might leave that for tomorrow morning, being that it's getting pretty late now, and I have been here till at least midnight every night this week, and I feel like a zombie. So perhaps tomorrow morning is a better time to attack critical measuring. I think that's the move. See you tomorrow morning. I'm very bad at lying. I'm lying. Still here. I tacked him in place. They look pretty good, I think. I'll be able to hard line these together. And, uh, yeah, I think they look pretty good. Might not be exactly the right height, but I did not measure a single damn thing. I just kind of eyeballed it, tacked them in. I'm not totally 100% that they're going to stay there, but it's a good spot for them to be currently while we fit some other stuff. I don't know if this looks better with them tucked around the back like that or if I should bring them out parallel on either side. So let me know what you think. I'm torn. I don't mind it like that at all. But it could also be, again, parallel outside. Wouldn't bother me either way. I just don't know which way looks better. Room-wise, it doesn't really matter. They're both in the same general area and there's nothing really else up there, so. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep on that. That's gonna do it for this video. Sorry, it's kind of an odd one. Like I said, this week has been super long and weird, so. Um, it's Friday night now. This is gonna come out Monday, so usually I give Dave the whole week to edit a video, but I haven't been able to put a video together for him yet. So, yeah. Sorry, Dave, love you. And we will see you a week from Monday. Okay, bye.